What's up everybody? One of the reasons I make these videos is I want to make sure everyone's aware of all the incredible harvest opportunities in the Pacific Northwest. And right now, we've got some great daytime low tides to harvest uh, incredible amounts of oysters. It's like the texture of an egg. This like is like Fear little... Factor. Bro, oh, it's so good though. It's going to taste salty. <laughs> All right, so before our friends take on the raw oyster challenge here, I want to make sure you can find your own oyster beach um, on this WDFW link, which takes you to the Department of Health shellfish safety information map. Really important to notice here that between May and September, they do not want you to consume any raw uh, oysters. Um, but you can take a look at this map and um, take a look at my URL so you can see how to get there. But you can see a map of all the different beaches that are open for harvest of clams, oysters, etc. their status. Here we click on one on Vashon Island, Maury Island Marine Park, currently open, clams, mussels, and oysters open year round, Department of Health status is open too, so give it a go. All right, let's talk about how to shuck an oyster. So first of all, it's important to have an oyster knife. Use a pocket knife or a steak knife or something you're just asking to cut yourself and end up in the hospital. Not a good idea. Oyster knife. Not sharp at all. Very useful. <clears throat> so, on an oyster, you got you got a bunch of different um, sides of this thing, right? Where, where do you get into, right? So the, the narrower side here is the strongest um, is, is, the, is the strongest part of the uh, of the of the, of the critter of the oyster. I like to try to get stick the oyster knife in here at the top where it's wider. Usually, have a little bit more success. Hard to find the opening initially, but once you find it, it's just easier to pry it open than trying to do it from the other side. So, here we go. You now you get it right when the you can see the juice is trying to escape. I try to keep it up because those juices are yummy, yummy. All right, now see I'm in. I found a, I found a way in. Now you got. Rotate that knife, turn it. Sometimes one way will be easier to do it than the other. And the further you get in, the more leverage you have. Ah. Oh, there we go. Alright, I found the I found the I found the leverage point. Got into the oyster. Oh look at that, look at that. Cut it away from the top here. Get that top shell removed entirely. Oh, it's still kind of attached over here. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, pick up the liqueur. Oh, let's do a little lemon on here. Look at that. Oh, thank you. And now, a little tapatio, a little hot sauce. Put Tabasco or whatever. I like hot sauce. All right. Get this. I'm going to try to cut it free from the bottom here because otherwise it's still going to be stuck on here. Mouthful. <laughs> Still chewing. <laughs> that was a big one. <laughs> oh, I think I'm full now. That's how you shuck an oyster. Hey, Felix? You looking for oysters, buddy? Huh? Looking for oysters? Alright, so the other thing we do is when we don't eat them raw on the beach, we like to um, uh, we like to reserve them and go back home and cook with them and use them in different meals. Um, and you, you can't just take the shells and put them in a bag because um, the shells are what grow uh, future oysters. So they want you to basically they, they want you to put the shell back basically where you found it. So we took it over there where where we got it and we keep the Ziploc bag, oyster, as much of the oyster juices as we can get fill this bag up um, up to 18 oysters including the ones we ate raw and it's also important 
Uh, you only want to shuck oysters that are at least two and a half inches from the regs. And um, just keep these on ice as we're kind of hanging out here and uh, add to our total. So. All right, these are our friends from the Midwest. And they're not used to the oyster thing here. Oh, this is and, awesome. Oh, yeah. Two of us, too. Yeah. <laughs> not I'm ready to put some oyster there. I'm not right. eating all of this, right? Yeah. Oh, bro. All right. Is that feces? Oh, no, that's good. You know, we'll just a little bit, of, a little bit of lemon on that. A little lemon on that. You want a little hot sauce? Can I you bite it? Yeah, yeah, you can do it in bites. A little hot sauce? A little hot sauce? Bro? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, anything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're going to want to chew it. It's the flavor. It's like the like Fear Factor. Bro, it's so good, though. It's going to taste salty. Do you like Hanagas? Don't. Okay, guide me. How do I eat? Do I just put do it like, just like this? What? Yeah, she kind of like you kind of guide it with the knife, right? And then just, <laughs> just take a little sip of the of the juices. Put your, oh put no, your lips that's the worst there. part. No, that's a, it's all salty it's and salty. oh, it's so good. <laughs> you can do it, babe. Uh oh, -uh, I don't think I can. Yes, you can. Come on, we'll do it together. Okay, hey, Justine, you might have to lead the way. Here. Okay, so you <laughs> might never do it. Though. Yeah, you can like. I don't want it. I want it to come off. Like, yeah, you want it to come yeah, make off. Sure you get yeah. it off because you got to get it all in. I had one about three times that size that I had to chew it. You chew it? Yeah, I did. Oh, you're filming this. Look out. Okay, ready? Right. Yeah. Go. Oh, Woo! Yeah! Oh, oh, she's going to town. She's got it. Yeah! Oh. Come on. Watch it. Watch it. I got clam juice on my chest. Oh, that's awesome, bro. That's the way to go. Come on. Come on, Jason. Oh, you got it. You got it. I think I was too scared. Yeah. I didn't enjoy it. Look at this. It went down my chest. Dude, that's awesome. That's awesome, bro. <laughs> you gotta get down here, get your own oysters.